at Cambridge. You can walk through the same gate at the same college where Isaac Newton went. Great science has been done there for centuries. My name is Paul Flechek. I lead the vertebrate genomics team at the European Bioinformatics Institute. We're here in the English countryside, a few miles south of Cambridge, working on absolute state-of-the-art science. 90% of my team has chosen the Mac. It provides the ideal human-computer interface. When you want to work with the data sets that we have, it's the perfect machine for that. At the EBI, it's our goal to collect and organize the world's biomolecular resource data and make it available for other scientists. We also manage the data flow for the Thousand Genomes Project. The Thousand Genomes Project is a natural extension, really, of the Human Genome Project. We're going from an understanding of just a single individual genome to a thousand genomes around the world. So we'll have a better baseline to understand how genetic differences might translate into different diseases, different outcomes in healthcare. The data sizes are quite large. This could be more than a petabyte of raw data. We collect the data from the production centers, organize it, and make it available to all the other researchers who want to use it. We provide a web interface, the Ensemble Genome Browser. We strive to organize the data in a way that makes it useful to as many researchers as possible. I've always used a Mac. It's the easiest way to access the data because it allows me to do things on the central servers, through terminal. It allows me to work on a grant application in Word. It allows me to create the presentation. I can be doing all of these things without breaking my train of thought. It's the consistency across the applications. It's having Unix in the command line right there when I need it. Bioinformaticians live in the world of computer science and the world of biology. Mac helps you do both. The Thousand Genomes Project can make medical care more effective and help us understand human disease better. We may not be the people that put the spire on top of the building, but we've created a lot of the foundation and you see people using the tools that we've built, and it's actually impacting people who have a genetic disease, that's when it becomes the most rewarding.